In Avanti Endpoint Manager versions prior to 2017.3, you configured alerts in a web browser interface that launched from the Management Console. In version 2017.3, the alerting interface was redesigned and it is now integrated into the console's agent configuration and agent settings tools. If you want to create or deploy an alert rule set in version 2017.3 or later, click Tools, Configuration, Agent Settings. Under My Agent Settings, click Alerting. If you haven't configured alerting before, you won't see anything here. Right-click and click New. You can now see the default available configurations. They are all in the Available Configurations panel initially. Only configurations in the Selected Configurations column are actually deployed. Let's create a new rule set. We'll click the New button here. Since this is a new rule set, the rule summary list is empty. I'm going to click New and create a disk space alert that will notify me if a disk gets too full. There are three items here at the root of the tree. An alert rule consists of an alert or multiple alerts, the actions you want to take, and the time the alert should be in effect. First, I'll pick the alert. It's here under Monitor, Drive Space. You can see there's already a default disk usage rule here. I know this is already being used by the default rule sets, so I'll create a new one so my changes don't affect those default rule sets. I'll click New again. Let's say I'm in charge of the Salt Lake site. I'm going to modify the rule name like so. And the polling interval is 10 minutes here, and that's fine. When I click the Drive Space tab, I can see the warning and critical thresholds. I want the warning threshold a bit lower, so I'm going to change it to 85 and click OK. Now I have my new Salt Lake rule. I have to click the checkbox to make it part of the rule set I'm configuring. I can repeat this process for as many alerts as I want to share this configuration. Now I need to configure an action. The default is the log handler configuration, which puts a log entry in the Management Console log. You can see the other handler options underneath, such as running a program on the core client or sending an email. I'll stay with the default log handler, which is already selected. Lastly, I need a time. Some alerts you may only care about at certain times, such as regular office hours. The default is always. You can select one of the existing schedules or create your own. Again, be aware that if you modify an existing item, it affects all rules using that item. I'll leave it on always. Now that I've saved my rule set, I can see it here in the available configurations list. I'll move it over to the selected configurations list so it's active and save my changes. To deploy my changes, I'm going to create a change settings schedule task by clicking here. Next to alerting, I'm going to select the setting I just created and click save. This takes me to the Scheduled Task window where I can drag or select targets and then click Start Now to deploy the settings. This deployment will override any alert settings the device previously had. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this summary of the new alerting interface helpful.